I think, you know, at the moment, uh, the Chinese bond market is undergoing quite a bit of pressure, uh, you know, because the lower grade, uh, especially the lower grade uh, Chinese corporate bonds are ha having no bid uh, in the market. Uh, so, you know, in so doing, it, it creates tremendous pressure on the commercial banking system, you know, because some of, some of the corporate bonds and some of the lower grade uh, Chinese corporate bonds are being used as a pledge uh, to get money from the central bank. So, you know, once there's no trading, there's no bidding, there's no price, and therefore, you know, you, you get, you probably, it's very difficult to use them as a collateral. Uh, so I think that's the, one of the reasons why, uh, you know, the PBOC is, is targeting uh, liquidity injection uh, into some parts of the economy that is under tremendous pressure. But I think overall, uh, reducing leverage uh, is still the primary objective uh, of the government. Uh, I think, you know, this year, because the progress uh, has been quite great, and I think that is one of the reasons why we're seeing uh, the market and also the domestic Chinese economy under pressure. Look, very interesting. I was looking at your copy as well about the Chinese market, about the process of bottom fishing as well. But tallying that with what you're saying about the CB market, what I've always known about the CB market ever since I traded it in the mid 90s, that once the liquidity goes, once the bid goes, it's impossible, literally not impossible to get out of these products as well. Do you think what's going on in the convertible bond market is a metaphor for the broader equity market or where do we start finding value in some of these assets? Yeah, I think the concerns in the corporate bond market uh, is already spreading to the uh, Chinese equity market, and that, that is one of the reasons why we're seeing the weakness. Uh, I, I think uh, much of the liquidity is going to higher grade uh, treasuries, Chinese treasuries, uh, and also higher grade uh, Chinese development bank C CDB bonds, uh, and also some higher grade bonds as well. Uh, so yesterday, uh, just now, I, I heard uh, one of your colleagues reported that you know, the Chinese PBOC gave MLF as a source of funding. Uh, for some of the commercial banks to to get into the lower grade uh, CB markets to buy to buy up corporate bonds. Now the problem with that approach is that um, you know some of the banks is actually gaming the system. So once they they got the liquidity, you know they actually using the liquidity to buy a higher grade treasuries, uh, you know higher grade CDB bonds and all that. Uh, so you know even though uh, and some LGFB bonds as well. So even though there are some liquidity injection, but we're not still not seeing tremendous relief in terms of liquidity crunch.